what is the next step for me for creating content? And is that through multiple channels? Is that through multiple podcasts? What does that really look like for me moving forward? So I have a list here, content, content, content. So yeah, this is going to be about the pivot. So let's get started. Hey, what's up? Uh, welcome back. Uh, welcome to this channel. My name is Andrew. I've been recording content for quite a few years now. And one of the things that I know that uh, this channel has experienced is a lot of changes over the years. I know that there was one point in time where I used to wear suits to go to events. I mean, th that's like 2012, 2013, going back to, you know, around that time where I used to like wear a suit and tie because I felt like presentation was important, uh, especially when you're talking to brands and stuff like that and, you know, trying to get into their good graces for collaborations and stuff like that. So I used to wear like suits and stuff like that. So from there, we went from uh, creating with the suits on to more, you know, laid back, still had slacks at one point, then went to jeans, then went to like shirts and hoodies and even, you know, creating, you know, different, you know, apparel and stuff like that. So over the years, things have changed. Even the content on this channel has changed over the years. You know, it, it was at some point where it was some gaming news stuff and then it translated to you know interviews and you know things of that nature and then we had a stint you know with crypto for a while and then from there we went from the crypto stuff you know back to the podcasting stuff heavily on the channel uh, which i think we still do you know for sure on the channel right and then from there uh, in between there we also had you know interviews you know a lot of interviews and how to content seems to be big on this channel i i don't know why but it seems like you love the how to content on this channel i mean i guess sound off in the comments if that's something that you still want to see but uh, and then live streaming stuff right there was a stint for live streaming so we did a lot of live streaming stuff on the channel as well so so it's fair to say that this channel has seen you know a lot of you know different you know, transitions and, and pivots. And I think that, you know, even with this video, I'll probably call it something like, you know, the pivot, what gaming content looks like on this gaming channel or, or this tech channel or whatever, right? And I think it is extremely important. And one of the reasons I want to do this video uh, without much scripting, you know, is the fact that at some point when you're creating for an extended period of time, whether you have a team or don't have a team, um, you can get to a place where you're 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 fatigued, right? You you are very fatigued, even though you have passion uh, to create you know content that you love, whether that's you know gaming content, tech content, crypto content, uh, tutorials, and things of that nature. I think at some point, maybe you've experienced it, maybe not. Uh, you get to a place where there's changes that you have to make uh, to not only either simplify the things that you've done but still add value to whatever that content is that you're creating uh, for the channel that you're, you're creating for or to, right? So there's that. Uh, so for me, you know, over the last couple of days, maybe a week and a half or so, I've been away uh, from home and I've been thinking about what is the next step for me for creating content? And is that through multiple channels? Is that through multiple podcasts? What does that really look like for me moving forward? So I have a list here. I want to read off some of the things that I think that we've done um, over the years that we still continue to do, but what it's going to look like moving forward uh, in terms of frequency and things of that nature. So again, I'm going to call this video something like The Pivot and it will move forward. Uh, so Andrew Alliance, the tech and gaming channel. So this is a t primarily, in my opinion, um, maybe I, I could be wrong on this, but primarily, in, in my opinion, this is a gaming and tech channel, right? So what I tried to do uh, at the beginning of this year is to create a streaming channel separate from this channel just for the gaming content. How is that going? I don't know. I don't know if it's going well. I don't know if it's not going well. But I think that having that channel the streaming channel for the gaming content only 
I think I need to reel that back in and put that content back on this channel. You know, I, I definitely want to know how you feel about that. I don't know if it was a great idea. So I guess, you know, part of this too, I feel like I'm failing forward. I'm trying different things. And I'm trying to figure out if they're going to work or not work. Um, and I know it's a, it's a very uh, short amount of time, even for that channel being a separate channel. But it didn't feel, even after releasing it and doing some content on the streaming channel, uh, that it made sense for it to be separate from this channel. Because if this is a gaming content channel primarily, and we do gaming news or, or gaming bits uh, or what have you, um, although I wanted to try a separate channel, I don't know if it makes sense. And, and here's the thing. I'm trying to make a case here as I'm thinking about it. Uh, part of the reason is because when, so as, you know, recording this video out of town and stuff like that, when I started watching YouTube content on like TVs, like the TV behind me or whatever, if the content was meant to get to me anyway, right, based on how YouTube's algorithms are set up and all that stuff and how they see things in the pictures and on the screen, how they know, you know, just the right thing to, to, to give us based on history and what we've watched and us being on a platform and things of that nature. If that's the case, although, you know, a separate channel can be beneficial, right? I'm not saying it can't, although it can be beneficial, uh, is it something that fits how I create content. And I think that's a question that you should ask yourself as well, because my thing is like, I'm flipping through all the channels that I like watching or, or subscribe to. And that content is automatically being recommended to me because YouTube already knows what I watch. So if I'm going to create pieces of content on this channel, whether it's a, a gaming commentary, right? Or a reaction to a trailer or a live streaming content, maybe for like two to three hours, give or take. If that piece of content is meant to reach a particular individual, it's going to reach that particular individual anyway. So from there, my job is to find different ways to make sure that I keep them on the channel, right? Uh, to the best of my ability, right? So, so I think this channel primarily will still be a tech and gaming channel. Maybe I'll do some how to's again. Again, just, you know, thumbs up for the how-tos if that's your thing. Thumbs up for the gaming content if that's what you like seeing. I think that um, I want to go back to basics uh, when I create on this channel. I think that that's really uh, the focus here. I really want to go back to basics so I can uh, output and be happy with the output. And hopefully as I'm producing and being happy with the output, you could see that and you're happy with the output as well. Okay, so... Tekken Gaming channel will still be there. Um, I would like to bring back the live streaming, the game live streaming on this channel. And and to, to the point where this could be a little extreme, depending on, on how you feel about it. Uh, I'm actually considering not using IG, you know, as much. Um, I don't know yet. I think at some point those channels, I don't know if that's going to be my main focus moving forward because I want most of the bulk of my content to be done on here and secondary and third, maybe the other channels, but in terms of like my focus, my focus is definitely going to be uh, creating on this, you know, specific channel and then bringing the live gaming stream, gaming streams back on here. All right. Uh, so that's, uh, that's number one. Uh, took a lot to get to number one, but I definitely want to get to number one. Uh, number two, uh, IRL stuff. Um, I do have a passion for for teaching, apparently. Uh, my wife tells me that. Um, I've heard that, you know, from other individuals who, you know, consume content that we've done in the past or I've specifically done. Uh, so I think that there has to be a way for me to incorporate teaching into uh, the bits and pieces of content that I'll be creating here. And the there was a channel that I've had. I think I kind of named it um, Andrew Alliance IRL. I think that's the new name for the channel. And I think that channel is going to be focusing on things that help people get better, right? Over time, uh, with, you know, some podcast interviews and commentaries mixed in there, but I think that's going to be more of a personal, uh, feel to it, more of an IRL feel to it, things that I'm experiencing, uh, things that I'm struggling with. And I think that is going to be on the Andrew Alliance IRL channel. That's the name for that channel. And I think that's going to allow me 
Uh, it's going to give me an outlet to talk about things that I don't necessarily need to be talking about on this channel itself. Okay, so I think we're going to do that. I think that's extremely important. Uh, the streaming stuff, uh, as I mentioned, uh, the gaming streaming, I think we should, you know, bring it back here. Uh, definitely sound off in the comments uh, if you liked it, didn't like it, you know, your thoughts I value. So please let me know what you think about that. Okay, so podcast, right? Podcast, it makes sense. Uh, the gaming podcast, we've done that on and off uh, for uh, since 2009, on and off of the channel since 2009, um, pretty much on by way of audio since 2009, right? Uh, so that's going to stick. Right. The, the gaming stuff will stick here and we'll either do live of the gaming show here. As well as the archived uploads, depending on what's happening in our lives, because Danielle is really busy right now. Shout outs to her. Um, I tend to be busy. I'm currently writing another book. Right. This book is going to deal with uh, narcissistic people. Right. Um, and even my testimony is going to be on the IRL channel, which I, I plan to share in the near future. Uh, so links to that will be in the description. Um, so podcasts, uh, the show radio. I think that's the flagship show at this point, over 600 episodes. We've been doing that for quite some time. Uh, I love uh, doing that show with Daniela. I hope we never stop doing it. But, you know, life's change. If in the future that changes, you know, I, I'm going to be sad uh, because I've enjoyed doing that show with her for, for such a long time. And we both enjoy doing the show, whether we're busy or not. So there's that. Uh, this Web3 Life. So originally, uh, this Web3 life was named this crypto life. I think that was too, um, I guess, uh, short sighted. Uh, so I rebranded that channel to this Web3 life. I was surprised that no one had that name of a podcast on the uh, archives of Apple and Spotify and all those places. So I was able to grab that. So this Web3 life, I think that show is going to be that podcast is going to be uh, mostly audio. Uh, from how I'm thinking about it right now. And with that particular show, it's really focusing on things, uh, lessons from my pain and in getting into crypto. I got into crypto in 2017, got back in uh, during the heart of the, you know, 2020, you know, era, you know, what was going on there. And from there, um, kind of got out a little bit in 2022 and jumped back in in the last, I would say, six months back in. Uh, but that show is going to be focusing more so on doing some evergreen conversations surrounding the crypto and Web3 world. So this Web3 life is designed to be a um, evergreen show moving forward. OK, so so moving forward, definitely want to say that. Um, and last but not least, um, if I'm forgetting anything, you know, I guess we can talk about it at a later date. Uh, last but not least, the Andrew Alliance podcast, the Andrew Alliance podcast may be tied very close to uh, the Andrew Alliance IRL channel. I think that makes more sense because if I'm going to create um, IRL conversations there and the show is tied to my name, the Andrew Alliance podcast, I think those two uh, should marry. Right. And, and I think that makes more sense. OK, so. I think that's pretty much it. You know, I feel really good. Um, I think that um, in terms of creating content, I still love creating content. I just want to make sure that uh, as I'm navigating or, you know, getting either better or uh, getting more inspired by different things, that there are places to put those things in. I think those are absolutely necessary, uh, which is why I wanted to do this conversation uh, without, you know, much scripting um, and just to let you know, like what I've been thinking for the last, you know, week and a half. And I haven't really posted anything for the last week and a half. But uh, the reason for that is because there's been a lot of thinking going on here, right? <laughs> a lot of a lot of thinking. And I just want to make sure that, you know, as I'm, you know, processing these things and as, you know, I try to have them make sense. And I think your feedback, like seriously, like your feedback in the comments will will help me out a lot. Um, yes, I could look at analytics for a lot of uh, different things, but I really want to know what you think about, you know, this particular pivot, right? Um, most of the things are just, you know, realigning for for me not to get fatigued, right? Because I, I don't have a team and 
I like the streamlined nature of the things that I've done over the years by way of content. And in the last, I would say 2019, heading into 2020, I started getting into book publishing, you know, the podcasting book, the philosophy book, my poems, and now I'm writing a, um, a book about uh, narcissism and uh, narcissistic people, you know, uh, based of some experience that I've had uh, in, in the heart of um, summer of 2021. And I think that that story needs to be told uh, tastefully, right? Uh, but yet still add value. So, so it's really all about adding value. I know like people say that all the time, but I really want to make sure that this stuff, you know, you have a takeaway that helps your life in some way, shape or form. I think that's always been, you know, the core of, you know, what the show radio was about, you know, when that first started, it was all about finding a way to get this information. And if the value is informing you, then we've succeeded, right? And I think that that is uh, the next steps that we want to take. So, so that's the pivot. Uh, what uh, gaming content, what content will look like on this channel and other channels that I'll be, you know, tagging in the description. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And uh, the recommended video will be on the screen for you to stay on YouTube.